very, very important event uh, for Victoria, for Australia and even worldwide. We have visitors from around the world uh, who will be discussing various road safety initiatives. Uh, the fact that this symposium is being held here in Victoria I think is, uh, highlights the fact that uh, Victoria in its own right is a world leader in relation to road safety. If you want to see a difference out in the road toll numbers, you have to see a difference in how we act in society. Because we cannot just talk down the fatality numbers, we have actually to invest in roads or in cars or changing our speed limits, changing our habits. And to change to that level, we need to cooperate. The most important message is change your culture of simply blaming the driver or blaming the victim as that's the cause of the crash. Uh, most of the time crashes are far more complicated than just a human being to be blamed for its behaviour. This is a moral issue. Life and health can never be exchanged for other benefits. The trade-off for greater and faster mobility should never be people's life and health. We can have both. That's why we call on you and all of the community to help reach our vision of zero deaths and serious injuries on our roads. What else could we aim for? 20 times a day at the Alfred, we treat a seriously injured person. Yeah, let me reinforce the fact that I think all of us at the health service would dearly love to be out of a job and live in a state that has achieved zero serious injuries and fatalities on the roads. I think that is coming together with a uh, better understanding of what's really happening out there. Not the judgment that it's only young male drivers speeding, being drunk. Again, it's everyday people making everyday mistakes and then we have to talk about it. We have to be very open in society about those stories. Anyone can be taken away at any time. The vision for zero road toll and zero serious injuries should be at the forefront of every Victorian's mind.